giving instead of receiving. 12 years ago, I went with my church to Brunswick, Georgia on a mission trip. It was in the summer and I was 18 years old. We stayed in classrooms in Brunswick and slept on sleeping bags and used the gym showers. This trip changed me for the better. It gave me a new outlook on life to never take the little things for granted. It made me remember to always stay humble and grateful for everything I have. The mission trip was based on a ministry called World Changers. World Changers are classified as students and leaders who serve and share the gospel through student construction mission trips. There are over 50 cities to serve in throughout North America. Group leaders can choose from three different types of ministry projects, construction, church planning, and urban. World Changers want to provide more than just a week-long mission trip. They want to provide tools and training that equip students for a lifetime of missional living. No matter what kind of college major, career, or volunteering opportunities are in their future, the students will leave a week of World Changers knowing how to share the story of Jesus with others. Our ministry project for this trip was construction. Our project was to put a new roof on and repaint a lady's house. The lady was 70 years old and had been battling breast cancer. She was one of the most humble people I had ever met. We all started out with the roof. I had never roofed a house until then. I had a fear of heights, so getting on a roof was never something I wanted to do. The temperature that week stayed in the 90s, so heat exhaustion ran through my mind a lot. We all worked together and made sure everyone stayed hydrated. A bottle of water was everything. On our breaks, we would have devotion and spread the word of Jesus to the neighborhood. Once we finished the roof, we repainted the house pearl white. The happiness that came from the lady after we were finished was worth every drop of sweat that was shed. The excitement and joy I got when I helped others was unreal. We brought and collected food items and household items to distribute to the less fortunate. We had worship services and devotions each day with the community and all that participated for this trip. 30 people that week got saved. There were 20 different construction projects that got completed that week. 300 people came out of all parts of North America to be a part of that trip. In conclusion, this life lesson is about giving instead of receiving. If you can only give a kind word to someone, then give it. Never take things for granted because life is too short. Always help others when you can and share the love of Jesus. A bottle of water seems like nothing, but in a lot of lives that can mean everything. Just as it did for me each day working on that roof.